I can't stick around for too long. I've got toys to clean. My name is Vanner Puchert, and this is Finding Frequency. What a day. What an amazing day. Complete snow, white, layered goodness outside when I wake up this, woke up this morning. Where's my tense is gone? And then the sun came out. What a beautiful, beautiful day. I stayed in with Francie. We had a bit of a sleep in. Martha went to church. Now, I have to explain here, which is, it's a very strange setup that I'm not used to. Perhaps if you're Catholic, you understand how this works, but for me, I, I, it, it was a new experience. So, my mother-in-law is a very, very devout Catholic woman, and nothing wrong with that. I understand President Biden in the States is also a devout Catholic, and uh, kind of a, a thing that she does is that she orders a mass. Now, what that means is that I understand that she pays a certain amount of money and then Francie or whoever she dedicates this mass to gets a mention and a prayer or something, not physical, but a blessing in church that day. So, yes, today was... Francie's mass day um, for obvious reasons we didn't go Marta went there because there's a limited amount of people allowed in and uh, Francie got his mass and why would Francie be getting a mass you might wonder well tomorrow my awesome boy will be exactly four years old Francie if you ever get to listen to this you are awesome you make me crazy. You're my best friend. I love you. You're a legend. And uh, tomorrow we will be celebrating four years with Francie. Can't believe it. And I'm not going to lie. It wasn't the easy four years. He's got both his mom and his dad's attitude to many things. And let me tell you, Marta and myself, we're not as perfect as you think we are. Wink. <laughs> But anyway, especially when you see some of the stuff Francie does. But yeah, so we are celebrating his four years tomorrow morning. Um, so a lot of things happen. Pandemic, he's on antibiotics because of, uh, you know, um, luckily getting through this um, disease that he's passed on to me as well. I'm also slowly getting through it now. And uh, so we don't want to have more friends over. Also, we want to get him a bit more in a healthy state so we can send him off to kindergarten um, after this week. On the weekend, we do plan to have a little bit of a get-together with some of the people in our air quotes bubble and have like a little bit of a subdued party for him somewhere where we can do it in a safe way. So do brace yourself with a little bit of Polish singing probably coming up. A little bit quieter than usual. Um, we are going to be blowing shit up. Um, I don't know if I ever... I did think I mentioned this in some of my uh, previous shows, but they like attaching these big kind of starry candle things to cakes. I mean, it's, I think it's a specific thing of my in-laws. Um, kind of makes your house smell like gunpowder, makes a hell of a noise, kids go crazy, um, out the cake. Anyway, we're not going to be doing that tomorrow. That's going to be next weekend. Now, uh, the reason I'm saying that I have to clean toys, so Martha and myself made a bit of an interesting decision this year because what we do see with Franz is that he's kind of in this vibe where he's jumping between topics a lot and he wants this, he wants that and we've now also kind of learned the lesson that, I mean, uh, at some stage he was going on and on about an electric chainsaw which daddy broke down and bought for him at some stage. <laughs> I think I played it a few times here too but um and he gets it and then of course he still enjoys it he's not a he's not a he's not spoiled but it kind of then subsides and then his attention goes somewhere else and we we want to kind of limit the amount of plastic we we acquire and also bits and bobs and nonsense because we can't help ourselves and this year he wanted some uh, some toys specifically woody and uh buzz lightyear and a robot arm now a robot arm is like a clampy thing that we got already for him we bought that but we started realizing that these uh, Buzz Lightyear things and Toy, Toy Story stuff is 
the things that he wants can be quite expensive. So what we did is we tracked down someone who wanted to sell those um, or pass it on. We got two awesome, great condition toys, quite big, does everything. Um, because the reason we also went for the for for the pre-loved toys is that um, the ones that we were looking at had to have the little laser and all these things, the things that will make him go, yeah, this is what I wanted. And uh, the more he goes, yeah, the more the the Zlotis goes up. And also um, spending that amount of money for something that is not probably going to be loved for too long because of his attention span. We just thought that maybe we can save the planet in a small little way and find toys that um, is in a good condition and then can go the mile again. So I have to go now, and they are in a great condition, just to go and uh, give them another clean. Um, and then we'll probably wrap them up for tomorrow. And I'm super excited to hear what he's going to say because I don't think he realizes that he's getting the big boys. They're quite large, this, uh, these things. So... Um, yeah, so I'm going to be driven nuts by Buzz Lightyear and Woody tomorrow. Um, and also the cute thing that he's been doing is he's been asking me every day how many sleeps until his birthday. And I have to actually whip out my phone and show him on the phone how many days are still left. And he's clever. He's picking up on this concept of counting down. The only thing that he's not picking up on is like how old he's actually going to be. So... Uh, <laughs> I'll have to work on that side of the thing. So uh, just as a bit of an extraordinary for the day, managed to um, sneak out because he's still actually locked up or supposed to be indoors. You can only really start going out tomorrow, but we thought let's do today. And we went to one of the local parks here in Warsaw, just on the other side of our home, nice big park. Took the sleigh. I think it was the first time ever in Poland that we had such an amount of snow that I could actually go out. I mean, I've been to the mountains. I've skied once or twice. Well, got lessons. Enjoyed it. But it's it, 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 there's never been here in Warsaw. So now we, we got to take the little sleigh out, the wooden sleigh. And we went to the park where there's a little hill. Like a, I would just call it a bump in the road. <laughs> but uh, Francie got to go down the, the hill there like spans of times he just had a whale of a time we tried not to extend it for too long to make sure that he uh doesn't get more sick and uh what a good time he had i must say and maybe i'm just being a a bit of a dad but um what i do find interesting with francie is that um this little incline that we were on um he went down the steepest side of that incline no problem like, Marta is super protective. She wants to take him to the slow part, which he hated, where the kids his age was playing. Not Franzi. He was on the other side, just scooting down um, the, the, the steeper side of, the, of this little hill. Sorry, I want to cough. <coughs> mm. um, not there yet. But um, what, a, what a good time. Um, Lots of people out, masks, the whole vibe. Um, but really, the sun's out. At, I, I couldn't have asked for a better day. And also then a nice meal together here at home. And then also supporting a local uh, local restaurant here in, in Poland. And it's interesting. Um, two things I want to mention uh, around the food situation. It's interesting how a lot of the restaurants have adopted to this whole takeout Situation. The one that we supported yesterday is called Uki Uki. It's a Japanese restaurant. Um, and uh, let me tell you this. Warsaw is known uh, for all its vegan food. We didn't have vegan food yesterday. Uh, accessibility to vegan food. And I must, I must tip my hat to the restaurants here. There's some really good food. If you, if you go out and you want to get something to eat, Warsaw is... Not just cabbage and pierogies. There's some really good food here. Nothing wrong with that. But um, the restaurant we ordered from yesterday, um, they took in orders in bulk. And then they gave us like a time sp space where they would deliver the food then. Which felt make me feel better because I don't have some poor guy driving all up and down for, for pence to, uh, to survive. 
Um, also, it allows the restaurant to prepare a whole bunch of meals, which makes it easier for them. You know, I don't have to be so fancy pansy to have my meal exactly when I want it. And in fact, they delivered way on time. Beautiful, nice instructions of how to prepare the noodles properly, like very posh, I must say. Martha did a great job there. Um, we ate like kings. But really, like, they adapted quite nicely to it. It wasn't just going to a you know online ordering or, like, flipping over to a delivery service. They've really thought through this whole idea of, of delivering food. And then the other thing that I, I found out recently, and perhaps in your nick of the woods, it might be a general thing, but for me it's quite new, but also very interesting. Um, I've always been a bit concerned about food wastage. And there's a new app here in Warsaw. I think it operates in Warsaw. That um, and I forgot its name, but let me explain what it's about. It's it's like, um, you know, all the coffee shops, um, some of the smaller restaurants participate in this application, and uh, they actually publish. Let's say an hour or two before they close, they publish the food that they were going to get rid of um, at the end of that specific shift. So, in other words, it might be sandwiches muffins, um, whatever, that they then uh, combine into what they call a package. And then you can actually buy this package online. So, I mean, lots of times you feel like just having, ending the day with a good sandwich and a cup of coffee. Yes, I do that. And uh, you can look on this app and you get a perfectly fresh sandwich um, for a better price, Um not that money is really the object, it's just that you are contributing to food not being wasted. And um, I thought that was an interesting way to, uh, to avoid that. And um, I think it's a great implementation of, uh, of technology to do something useful for a change. Wow, so I've been waffling again for now 12 minutes straight. So um, yeah, and uh, I know yesterday's one was a bit serious and yeah, it's difficult to think through all these things and make the statement you want to make. But um, yeah, we we are looking at the situation. We're keeping our eye on it, and we keep. But we're keeping positive. We have to uh, do our thing. This is where we live, and this is where we we've made our home, and this is where we today once again safely had a massive amount of fun and laughter. So let's push forward and keep it that way. Great. So I have to go clean toys now, and. Prepare for someone's birthday. Four years. Wow. I hope that you're having a great evening and getting ready for a new week. New exciting things coming. I have a goal set for myself for this month, for February. Um, I don't want to say it now yet because then someone is going to keep me accountable for it. So let me just think it through before I open my flap. But um, hey, have a good evening and thanks for listening.